is up, fam? Hope this message finds you all well and in great spirits. Well, well, well. We are back home from Detroit after seeing the beautiful 2024 Mustang. And today's video, we're going to talk about some new color renders that showed up on Mustang 7G. I'm going to go down the color list that you can see that you can order for your 2024 Mustang. Now, just to get the cat out of the bag yet, I don't know when the order banks are going to open. But we'll talk about it if the videos come up and that information is available. But... I do want to talk about dealer markups in today's video, and we'll go forward with that. And unfortunately, last video got copyright strike, so I'll put the video footage of the interior view again at the end of this video if you want to watch. You're so inclined. Sometimes the music Ford puts on stuff is copyright strike. But without further ado, let's take a look at the colors, and we'll talk about what I think and what I want to order for my 2024 Mustang. Definitely going to go with the dark horse, but let's go. All right, so here are your color options, and you can see here, this is what Ford sent me to show you guys for all the options for color colors for the 2024 Mustang. We're going to start here with the Dark Horse. Now, there's a Dark Horse with appearance package and one regular Dark Horse. The regular Dark Horse has more different colors, the grays, the whites, the blues, race red. But this one with the appearance package has the vapor blue and the blue ember. That's an exclusive color only for the Dark Horse, which you've seen in the press uh, clippings. Um, so the orange, the orange that's rendered is not available right now for the 2024, but you can see here, these are some color options for you. And what I'll do is I'll scroll over when I was at Ford's, um, invitation, invitation, they had the colors on the actual scaled down models of the car. So you can kind of see what's what. Very nice. Um, and what's offering now, everyone's favorite grabber blue, Ford will now offer colored Brembo's for you from the factory and they work with Brembo to actually have ponies on and Mustang letters on the vehicle from the factory so you don't have to pull the car off do it yourself someone messes it up strips a lug we all know we've been there so these are pretty amazing just to start what Ford is doing here with the new S650 and what's also cool about it you'll see the difference in textures and design language so a lot of different finishes. This is the GT badges, and there's uh, some Easter. Now, to get to um, what I was talking about with dealer markups, from what I understand, now nothing's official. This is not going to be, if you notice when the reveal came out, it's not going to be like, oh, let me go put a reservation in, like for the Lightning or the Mach E, something like that. This is going to be a normal order through your dealership. Go to dealer, tell them, hey, listen, when the order bank's are ready, kind of place an order. It's going to be like that. Unfortunately, I don't know how Ford is going to say anything about markups because the GT and Eagle Boost are just like, it's, it's a mass produced model. I can foresee there being markups, sadly, on the Dark Horse. Now, because Dark Horse would be like a Shelby variant or a Mach 1 variant, now it's a discretion to the dealer. We won't know because they'll start peeling the dealer lots ne this time next year is when you'll see them um, to be taken delivery of. Uh, so I would actually start to get with your dealers now and say, hey, listen, get, let me know and let me know what's up because that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take you on that journey too as we go forward because I don't know how Ford is going to fight these dealer markups. I know they've said some things about it, like limiting allocations and things like that. But again, this is going to be a more mass produced vehicle, the S650. So we'll see how it all shakes out and bakes out. I am excited about the ordering process. Caliper orders, seat belts, stitching. That custom customization is something I'm really excited about and really, I really can't wait for, look forward to doing with you guys. So we'll see, um, those are the colors. Those are uh, what I know so far about dealer markups. And then here's some pictures of some colors and some renders. And end of this video, you can watch the review of the interior one last time because I gotta take the last video down. Comes a copyright strike. But again, thank you much for this, so much for the support. Appreciate all the new subscribers we have. We have more <laughs> S650 content, but for my S550 guys, don't worry. Hulk and Mamba are coming back. Drag Racing is coming back. And thanks so much for everything. Like, subscribe, and check out the giveaways on 3Supply.com because you know it never ends. Peace. I actually love the interior. I've never been an interior guy until now. We're going to actually talk to Ricardo Garcia, who's the head of the interior, about all the cool stuff. And if you guys like video games, there's a real life one. All right, here we are. Appreciate you, Ricardo, for the time. Thanks, man. So we're here, Ricardo Garcia. Talk to me about this beautiful interior. This is, you know, we're Mustang people. We're used to double brown. What went into this? Talk to me what what, what we have going on here. Okay, okay. Well, this is the most advanced interior 
the most advanced technologically interior for Mustang today. And how we accomplish that is through this, the word disruptive. We use disruption to kind of like, how do you, how do you change a, a, a classic, a double brow classic? Well, uh, with, a, with the help of our customers, Gen Zers, all the way to hardcore Mustang drivers, uh, we got a lot of input from them once we, when we did research. But what you see in here, it's like a continuous display. We use a 12.4 inch cluster, 12.4 inch cluster and a 13.2 display is the most disruptive part of it is all the customization you see here on the digital on the digital graphics. Also, the way we did it is like we created this uh, from end to end, the structural element. We wanted to keep a little bit of that essence of Mustang, right? And how we achieve that? By designing this all the lines towards a driver, a driver-centric Mustang. You see the angle of the display? We also have the center stack. You'll notice on the center stack, we eliminated some components, not everything, but we, we have the capacitive switches. We also have a volume control with our register vents, but this enabled to open the center console to make it a more like with a, with a, with a storage bin, storage, so you can put your chapstick and coins. One of the other things, elements that I'm really proud of is the three-spoke dish steering wheel, which has the essence of Mustang, but it has a flat bottom uh, uh, flat bottom steering wheel. It is standard on all, all, all series. We also very proud of this uh, uh, PEPV, which is a performance electric parking brake. That this was developed together with Vaughn Gideon Jr. All the details were designed based on uh, inspiration with drift, drifting. Wow. Well, listen, that was fantastic, Ricardo. And what I want to do now, I'm going to actually, I'm going to sit down in the interior. Okay. So we're going to go take a seat in the new GT. Okay. So it's going to be up in there. I'm going to sit down in the new 2024 Mustang GT. Guys, this is so modern. This is so beautiful. I'm excited to take a seat in this historic opportunity. Let me see. Yep. And what is this color called here? This is called Carmine Red. Karma. Oh, I like, okay, like the Mafia a little bit. <laughs> Let's take a seat, guys. Here we go. Oh, is it cozy? Oh, this is comfortable. This is, may I? Yes, of course. Oh, look, I wanted to showcase this, guys, to you as well. Look at the new fit and finish with the materials here as well. So, what is this called? If you want to this that? material called Carbonite. It's a, it's a laser etch uh, detail. And it's so it's it's, sim it's similar to like inspired by um, uh, carbon fiber, but we want to make it a uh, three dimensional. It also includes a seamless speaker grill, and so that way it's all incorporated in one bezel and it's aligned together with the uh, with the carbonite uh, texture. Mm. Okay, nice this too. is you know I talked about love at first sight. Let me just close this door. Let's cue this. This feels good. <laughs> oh, this feels good. This interior, it, I mean, put my camera down for a second. I feel like I'm in something special. Like, you know, we've had the 350, we had the 500. Those are special vehicles, but this is just being a GT, not it's just a GT, but a GT model. I feel like I'm in something special. The way the screen hugs you, you can come around from my, from my end here, like everything feels great. You have your shift knob here. Let me zoom this out. So you have the shift knob here. You have your drift, drift brake, drift yeah. brake here, and oh, this this steering wheel, this flat bottom is really nice. You know, a lot of people, you're, what Ford has done, in my opinion, as a Ford fanatic, you've done everything that we wanted to the Mustang when we get one. Flat bottom steering wheel, you know, like all these different interior bits. Like I love, look at the stitching here. So this is red stitching, and correct me if I'm wrong, Ricardo. We get a choice of colored. Seatbelts? Yes, you do. Like you're sitting on a carmine red. We also have offer space gray, a new color in the interior, and it has a very unique seatbelt with a stripe in it that matches the color, and it also matches a space gray color. That's very unique to this interior. We're good. Yeah. Sorry, can you just start again from the? Oh. Go ahead. Let me do that again. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Ricardo, we have new seatbelt option for colors. Yes, we do. What you're sitting in right now is a Carmine red interior, but also we offer that stripe uh, seat belt that matches the, the complements the uh, Carmine red. We also created a space gray interior uh, finish 
with the complement that complements uh, the, the seed bill as well.